sake is a rice slicker that's over 2,000 years old. It used to be made by chewing grains of rice and spitting it into a vat so that the saliva enzymes would ferment with the yeast to produce alcohol. Needless to say, methods have moved on since then. There are over 60 breweries in Fukushima, but this is one of the oldest. Yaoe Monsato is the seventh generation owner. Evolving technology means the quality of sake is higher than it's ever been. But the industry is at a crossroads, and domestic sales here in Japan are falling because younger people have developed a taste for beer and imported wines instead. So breweries like this one are turning to tourism and the international market, and it's paying off. Exports are at a record high, and innovation and sustainability are helping to fuel this growing craft sake movement. Winter is the busiest time of year for sake breweries. Colder winter temperatures make for a higher quality sake. The head brewer, or koji, still completes much of the process by hand. So this smells just like rice. So it's been washed, then it's been dried, and now it's in here. I'm assuming there's yeast inside here to ferment. Yes. The rice mash stays in the vat for a week. Ah, okay. <laughs> It's not as easy as it looks, actually. It's quite heavy. It's like sweeping treacle. The whole process is incredibly labor-intensive. Ten years ago, the brewery was left fighting for its survival. Contamination from the nearby nuclear disaster meant all food and drink exports from Fukushima had to be tested. 3月11日の後、そう、しばらくの間全くね、あの、注文がありませんでした。もう、このまま行くと。もう会社は成り立たない。当社にそう。っていう風に思ったんですが、不評被害でですね、もう福島のお酒のエリアみんな放射能に汚